Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakhakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well and teach well. Peace and blessings to the elect out there that's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. All right, this, uh, this, this video is going to be called Align Your Conscience or Check Your Conscience. You know, um, I got the definition pulled up. It, it means an inner feeling or voice viewed as acting as a guide to the rightness or wrongness of one's behavior. All right. So it's that little voice, you know, it's like the the judgment in your own head, you know, it's counsel within your own head. Um, there's another Wikipedia definition. It says, uh, conscience is a cognitive process that elicits cognitive process just means uh, the way you think uh, that elicits emotion and rational associations based on an individual's moral philosophy or value system. So, you know, with that definition, you can see how a conscience uh, isn't always right, depending on, you know, if their moral philosophy is right or value system is right, or even their emotions or rational associations are right, you know? Uh, so, you know, not everybody's conscience or thinking process to establish judgment is right all right um and you know i'm gonna get scriptures on it this is proverbs 3 and 5 trust in the lord with all thine heart trust in yahweh bashim al shah and lean not unto thine own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths right because when whenever you uh, uh trust in the lord man you're trusting in his judgments you know you're gonna start reading more you know you're not going to uh, uh, lean on, on your own understanding. You're going to seek out, out, out of the book and read, you know, to see what his judgment is, right? Um, matter of fact, let's get Proverbs. What was it? Proverbs. What is this? Uh, 21 and 2. And I got the definition pulled up. I was going into the definition. I'll get to it. Um, Pro Proverbs 21 and 2. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth the hearts. Right, because everybody, you, you know, you, you take a survey, nine times out of ten, if you ask somebody if they're a good person, they're going to say yes. All right, but um, it, it doesn't matter if you think you're right, or if you, <laughs> it, it matters, you know, the, it says the Lord pondereth the hearts. All right, that word pondereth, it this is the point uh test or prove you know he's the one that that's going to test you know those those ways you know um but yeah it, it, it uh this is a, another one jeremiah 17 and 9 the heart is a deceit is deceitful above all things all right oh yeah that, that's what i wanted to grab too is a heart you got to go into the root word it says liba the root word is lib but really it's laab in the paleo hebrew and it means inner man mind will heart understanding inner part midst uh <laughs> conscience there you go but yeah you can see you know Midst heart, soul heart, mind, knowledge, thinking, reflection, memory. You know, that inner dialogue, your conscience, man. You know? So the, the most high tests test those, you know? E even though it may seem right in your own eyes, you know, the most high is, te is, is testing that. Uh, this is Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart or your conscience is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it right because a lot of people try to uh, 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 take comfort in, in in lies you know because um, there's another thing called cognitive dissonance and it's just a fancy word of uh, really being stressed out because you know uh, well, here it is. 
instead of having inconsistent thoughts, beliefs, or attitudes, especially as relating to behavioral decisions and attitude change. So whenever it, a behavioral decision is made, if it doesn't al align with you know your personal beliefs or attitudes, then you know that's where this uh, discomfort comes in, which dissonance is just a fancy word for like discomfort or uneasy and cognitive your thought process. So you're having a you know and they they say whenever this happens you can actually experience like a physical pain. Um, and there's a scripture on that too. This is uh, Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of the Lord, or the word of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem al Shai, is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. Right, man? Because whenever you start reading these scriptures, you know, it, it makes you reflect, self reflect. You know, it makes you adjust your conscience, makes you, you know, have that, you know, uh, 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 correct that inner judgment, you know, that inner counsel saying, well, am I doing the right things? You know, am I, am I applying the, these uh, uh, righteous laws to the best of my ability or am I trying to deceive myself and trying to justify uh, wickedness? You know, like when you read something like this, oh, unto them that justify wickedness. Or, yeah. This is Proverbs 17 and 15. He that justifieth the wicked, and he that condemneth the just, even they both are uh, abomination to the Lord. So when you read something like that, you know, you're, you're thinking, damn, like, you know, am I trying to justify wickedness? You know, it, it establishes those intents of the heart. You know, whenever you start uh, uh, going through that inner dialogue, whenever you read scriptures, you know, it's, it's cutting you, man. It's cutting your spirit, you know, trimming your spirit. Um... But yeah, th this is how you align your conscience or align your heart, mind, your thought process. This is how you clean, cleanse your way. You know, it's by the word. Um, let's see, where did I grab this? Yeah, this is Proverbs 4 and 5. It says, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Right, you know, you got to make the, this uh, wisdom and knowledge, you know, your your love, man. Because you got to make it your passion. And she shall keep thee. Meaning, hey, if you practice these things and you're constantly meditating on it, you know, it's going to keep you uh, uh, from getting a fucked up conscience. And, you know, you, you won't start deviating into other uh, uh, philosophies. You know, you're constantly focused on pleasing the Hawabat Shem al So, you know, the Lord will uh, uh, cover thee. It says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. You know? So this knowledge is, is going <laughs> to bring thee to honor. It says, uh, she, she shall give to thine head an ornament of grace, and a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Yeah, man. Um, but yeah, the main, main point was, a hey, align your conscience, man. And you do it by, a hey, uh, uh, you know, reading, man. You know, talk, make, watching videos, praying, fasting, and reading. And praying for, you know, uh, understanding of, of whatever you read. And applying it, man. Practicing it. You know, it's one thing for, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 what do they call them? Uh, uh, couch, couch quarterbacks or armchair quarterbacks. 
you know, it's one thing for somebody to watch a football game and, you know, tell tell you what everything that the quarterback's doing wrong. But it's another thing for that for a quarterback to actually, you know, know what he's doing wrong and practice on getting it right. You know, same thing for, you know, brothers in this truth. Um, you know, we, we, we got to hey, keep on keeping on and practicing it, not just not just reading just for to read but read for you know to get wisdom and knowledge man um but yeah lord willing this video is edifying again all praises honor and glory to how about shim yao shai hey shalom